recording on a 10 today, but I don't really think it matters. That's Which fine. You go right now. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Binder. The Bill Bender Show. I'm a little slow today, super sore. Turning 40 in three months, and I refuse to look like I'm 40 in three months. So, we've been pumping the iron pretty hard, and I am definitely feeling it. The miraculous six mile walk, the second in three days. And boy, my pups are screaming. So, regardless, we're gonna review St. Cloud today. Now, this is about three and one quarter years old, 120 proof. It's aged in French oak casks. And when I talked to the owner, who's a stand-up dude, he's pretty cool, I asked him about filtration, he said, we don't filter it. Like, what do you mean, like non-chill filter? He's like, no, nah, we don't filter it. Which is amazing to me because I have no filter either. So fuck it. Let's start drinking. The best thing is I just opened this for the first time. This is, this is new for me and new for you. It's new for everybody. Oh. Take a sip. Hit a drive, try to hit a drive, can't move. Did a lot of squat thrusts today. Lots of calf muscle action. Triceps, got a little lat action. <laughs> I feel like I'm paralyzed. Freezing in Florida. It was 47 degrees last night. It's 47 degrees in Florida. And I'm not talking like Jacksonville or, or anybody in North Florida. It was 47 degrees in West Palm. It was 47 degrees in Boca. Like, that's not even real. It's 60 degrees right now. I have a sweater on, but that's cool because it matches these pants. And I don't really get to wear these pants so much because I can only wear the sweater with the pants. So I got a good combo going on. Thank you, Jay Lindenberg. It's awesome. Isn't she a beaut? She's a beaut, clock. It's Christmas. We've been watching National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, one of my favorites. Cousin Eddie, one of my favorites. Maybe a little Home Alone tonight. I don't know yet. I don't know if we'll have enough time. But that is beautiful. Look at that, look at that uppy. A jumpy. Oh man. The survey said that you guys wanted to see St. Cloud over Wolves, but that's okay because the next golf course review we do is gonna be on Wolves Whiskey, also out of California. Um, I've had the pleasure of talking with Ray, the owner of this. He's got big ideas, they're bold, and I appreciate them taking a risk. You know, you see more and more people these days getting into this boutique stuff, this this, this crafty whiskey. Uh, and, and some people are doing great things. They're doing really good things, you know? It's gonna be to the little guy now, and I don't mean that in any demeaning way, but sometimes the little guys make the best stuff. You know, Michter's, Michter's and Buffalo Trace and Heaven Hill and Jim Beam and you know, all the big guys that aren't Diageo, uh, 
they always make great juice, you know, and it, it comes in mass quantities. And if you can get your hands on it, you can get your hands on it. But you know, it's, it, they're such a hot commodity that you might not be able to get your hands on it. And if you do, it's gonna be at an astronomical price. This stuff's kind of pricey from what I understand, uh, but it's limited. Like I think the next release is only like 200 plus bottles. That's it, 200 plus bottles. It's crafty. There's a lot of love that comes in that goes into this stuff. Now for three and a quarter years old, you're not really gonna get that much deep, dark stuff in there. You know, you're not gonna get, you know, the normal baking spices, any of that. But they're faint, they're there. They're, they're definitely there. They're just not abundant. They're not boom, like in your face. Hundred twenty proof, so it's there. You get a little bit on the front. Um, you get a lot of light fruity notes, and again, I think that's because it's young, and it's because of the French oak. Okay, I'm gonna think about it more, but I'm getting loose and uh, get some shots. We're gonna drink some more. We're gonna talk about it some more. I really want to get into this. It's picking my brain. Oh. It is pretty. And it's nice not to sweat your ass off for once. But, I have this hellacious lie right now to a short pin, and I don't know if I can pull this off, but what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna try it for all of you at home to test my skills. Now, I just took like three or four swigs, so I'm at like two right now, being that I didn't warm up. Well, who cares, I'm making excuses. Let's just hit it, see what the hell happens. I can do this. Do this. Go in. Go in. Woo! Look at that. Don't cut it, just hand. Don't cut it, just hand. So I just hit a golf shot. I mean, downhill lie, short pin. Walked up there, like I knew my shit. And I missed a six inch tap in with my wedge. I'm not gonna lie, that kinda hurt, but I'm only human. And I'm gonna blame it on the whiskey because I haven't had enough yet, so. I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. Son of a bitch. It's light. For 120 proof, it's very light. Like I said, those darker, the darker flavors, the heavier flavors, <clears throat> the spices, they're there, but at three and a quarter years, they're not there yet. For it being non-filtered at all, you're not getting any sediment in the bottle, which is good. <clears throat> We get a little plum. That might be from the French oak. French oak's weird, you know? You love it or you hate it. I like it. It's fancy. French oak. French oak. Let's go to the next hole. Oh, if I didn't tell you before, we're back at Lake Worth, Municipal Golf Club. I really like this course because it's three minutes away from my house and uh, it's fun. It's just fun. There's no driving range here, so you gotta hop on over to the Palm Beach Par 3 and uh, warm up, but 
I didn't really care to today because it's cold and, and I just want to drink whiskey and hit some golf shots. Funny thing is that, as you recall last time we did a review here, I warned you about that older guy, Steve, that takes everybody's money. I just saw him. He's like, hey Bill, you want to go play for $20 a hole? And I said, no thanks Steve. Looks like you've won enough money today. So, I'm just going to hit the 67 yard shot. Well, I'm gonna try to anyway. So far, it's been good. I might have just jinxed myself. Let's check this out. We have a shoot in the evening now. Well, not in the evening, but later in the afternoon. Because now season starts and prices get astronomical on golf courses. It's actually kind of absurd. It's obscene. Almost offensive, actually. Um, but regardless, we're out here, we're doing it. It's pretty. This bottle reminds me of a Michter's 10 bottle, doesn't it? It's the same shape, might be the same bottle, I don't know. Ah, let's do it right. Okay. So, let me tell you something about me is that <clears throat> I'm gonna give you an honest evaluation of all the whiskey that I try. Anything you guys send me, anything you suggest, I'm gonna tell you as, like it is. I'm not gonna beat around the bush, I'm not gonna bullshit. Nobody pays me for any of this. This stuff is good. At three and a quarter years, this stuff is great. Now, I tend to be more on the heavier flavor side. I like the cinnamon. I like the baking spices. I like the nutmeg. I like the dark fruit. I get a little plum on this, but this is mostly a citrus forward whiskey. Believe it or not, at 120 proof though, it's kind of right in my wheelhouse of proof. I'd like to see this age a little bit longer. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but hey, you know, If you can get your hands on one of these bottles, get your hands on it. You know why? Because it's different. It's not the norm. It's interesting. It's comparable. It's it's comparable. You can compare this to other whiskeys. You know, put it next to a Booker's. Same type of proof, kind of same in the, in the same wheelhouse, but totally different flavors. What's the difference between this and that? What can you get off of that that you're not getting off of this? You should get one of these. I'm telling you, you should get one of these. You should try it. Open your mind. Just because it doesn't have a label that you don't know, doesn't mean it's not good. This is great stuff. Just needs to be a little bit older, in my opinion. But, it's great stuff. Ray, you did a great job with this. And that's all she wrote. 39 years old, never hit a hole in one before in 34 years. So hopefully we could do this on film because then nobody would believe it, right? It's not filmed, it's just, it doesn't happen. And it's not gonna happen today. Final thoughts on this. The more and more I drink it, the more and more I like it. Like I said, it's young, but I'd like to see it at maybe seven to 10 years old. But the great part about it is, is that this company is so young, it's only gonna get better and it's only gonna get more expensive. So <clears throat> you should get this. You should get, you should get a bottle of this. If you can get your hands on a bottle of this, uh, I think it's wise choice. Um, it's weird. It's 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 funky. It's very citrusy and it's different. And hey, who doesn't like different? I like different. This stuff's great. So 
My name is Bill Bender. This is the Bill Bender Show. We're out here making birdies. It's freezing, sore, mold, and this is making me feel great. Until next time.